In this segment, we're talking about saving money from our cash flow with Tommy Hagnan, nationally recognized retirement speaker and best-selling author. Well, once we've created cash flow, Tommy, I'm ready to go. But I went out there, you know, I got my cash flow now, and I went to my bank, and I saw the one-year rate. I went out to, I said, forget my local bank. I went out to bankrate.com, hoping that it would be better with some place that doesn't have brick and mortar. And those rates for one year, three year, five year, Tom, they're terrible. Yeah, well, look, if, if you want short-term rates, they're going to be low. But there are other places you can invest your money. You can put it into your 401k. You can put it into a Roth IRA. You can put it into mutual funds. You can put it into annuities. There's a lot of different places you can put that cash flow. But a lot of people are wondering, you know, how, can I save when I'm when I'm still in debt? Should mm -hmm. I pay off the debt? Should I save? And there's, there's some different strategies mm -hmm. there. So here's some ways that you can save and get out of debt, mm -hmm. okay? The first thing you wanna do is you wanna list what all your debts are. Get get them all out. What are the debts? How much is it? What's the interest rates? What's mm -hmm. the minimum payments? You know, then you wanna figure out how much can you pay? And that's where you gotta cut that spending. We talk about it every mm -hmm. segment, but you gotta reduce your spending. And if you can work a part-time job for a while, I mean, that's there's nothing wrong with getting another job to help pay down your debt for a mm -hmm. while. Um, how much can you afford to pay? Set a debt-free date, have a goal. I wanna be debt-free by such and such mm -hmm. a date. Um, avoid using your credit cards while you're doing this. Try to minimize going into further debt. You want to keep a, a small cash cushion. You want to add to your 401k, especially if you're getting a match. I think that's mm -hmm. a big point. It is a huge. When you think about your 401k, people say, Steve, I've did some of the things you guys have talked about. I've got some free cash flow now. And I'm saying, are you maximizing at least on your 401k up to your employer's match? If you're doing that, this is a deduction in the hand. You're getting an extra money from your employer. And some people, I have to say, really, that is a great play to go. And I like the 401k because most of them now are contributions. So they're driven by you, the participant. Right. right. And whether the market goes up or down, you're adding money. And, and with that match, I just want to say this. If you're... If you're taking up 4% of your pay and they're matching it with 4%, that's a 100% rate of return. And you're talking mm -hmm. about low interest rates. Don't give up that match. That would be a key thing that you want to keep doing, even when you're getting out of debt, because that's basically free money. And if you don't put the money in there, you're not going to get that, okay? Um, you can try to ne negotiate lower rates with some of the credit cards, and some of the places will work with you to mm -hmm. get lower rates. Sometimes you can take out a home equity loan uh, to, to move the debt over to home equity because home equity loans mm -hmm. are lower. But again... That's risky if you keep charging up other things. Mm -hmm. It's okay if you then pay that down because mm -hmm. some, some of that can actually be tax deductible debt, you know, mm -hmm. instead of taxable uh, debt. You, you, you don't want to absorb all your raises into spending. So if you do get pay raises, if you do get promoted, mm -hmm. take some of that new money and put it towards paying off debt and mm -hmm. saving. You don't want to mm -hmm. spend it. Well, when you talk, talked about home equity loan, I've heard you talk, we've been on the air before, when you've talked about being careful how you use this, especially in right. retirement. Right. So I think people sit there and say, well, you know, I have, and by the way, when you see consumer debt averaging between 30 and 40 grand, and we're not talking about your house, we're not talking about your right. car, if you're looking at 30, 40 grand, and then you go to your home equity and say, wow, I'm going to knock it down with that, and I have to be so disciplined not to go back to my plastic, right? right. I mean, right. so then I take out the home equity loan, and remember, I have to write checks about this. I, I'm, I'm not going to let that ride. So it can help the arbitrage between the interest rates in your cards and the interest rate charge in your home. It could be a great deal for you. It can if you're disciplined. Mm -hmm. You know, and it all comes down to that. You know, you've got to get your own personal habits under mm -hmm. control. And what happens is people just want it now and they want more mm -hmm. and they want this. And you just, that is that is a way to ruin. And if you, if you can get your, mm -hmm. your habits under control, you can use some of these tools, because that's mm -hmm. all any of these things are, it's tools mm -hmm. that can be used properly or they can be used improperly, but if you use them properly, it can help you. You know, Tommy, I want to ask you about this. A planned obsolescence, it seems like, I, it seems like I'm switching out iPhones every seven to eight months. So it's not even the day. It's like, oh, the newest thing. And somehow I can't live with the old iPhone. So I'm popping for the bigger screen, higher resolution, much more things in it. And I'm not just talking about games. I mean, really quality technology. Yeah. But it seems like it's either planned obsolescence or the technology is moving so fast, okay. I can't keep up with it. So do what I do. I don't get the brand new iPhone right away. I'm like one model behind it. Because mm -hmm. of that, I get it for less. And mm -hmm. I can live without the latest, greatest for you know 12 mm -hmm. months or 18 months because the technology today is so great. It's so much better than mm -hmm. it was five years ago that, you know, and same with golf clubs. You know, I, I go up and play golf with guys. They got the brand new golf club every year. 
I only buy a new golf club if it hits the ball farther or straighter than my current one, and mm-hmm. I won't spend the money if even if it looks nicer, even if I think, mm-hmm. oh, my buddies will say he's using a ping that's you know eight years old. I don't care if I can mm-hmm. hit it farther than them. I don't care. I want to hit the ball straight, mm-hmm. and I'm, I don't buy new stuff just to have new stuff. <laughs> 